Okay, so great news, my Pi 5s have arrived. So I've got a four gig model and an eight gig model. This is the one I got early from the Raspberry Pi Foundation. These, this is all the ones I've ordered. Uh, I've got two 27 watt power supplies so I can finally start overclocking. And I've also got the official cooler. So this is the official adapter with a much thicker cable than the Pi 4 one. And uh, as you can see from the power adapter, it's 5.1 volt, five amp. So 25.5 watts, 9 volt, 3 amp, 27 watts, 12 volt, 2.5 amp, 27 watts, and 15 volt, 1.8 amp, which is 27 watts. So really happy to have this uh, now that I can start overclocking. This is the Pi 4 model, which was only 5.1 volt and 3 amps, which was absolutely fine for a Pi 4. But a Pi 5 wants to have more power. Now you can use it, and I've been using this Pi 4 one all the way through. I've had this Pi 5 a couple of months now, and I haven't had any issues at all. But if you try and boot from USB, like I'm trying to do here, this is what comes up on the screen. So USB boot requires high current, 5 volt, 5 amp power supply. To disable this, check set USB max current enable equals one in config.txt. So first of all, I'm gonna switch it off, and I'm gonna try it with the 5 volt 5 amp and see if it just works uh, this is a fresh boot of raspberry pi os let's plug it in here so i wonder if it'll work with this cable so i use one of these uh, wattage display cables and on the end of this we have a usb-c coupler so let's unplug that from the original one so it'll be interesting to see how much this can handle so basically uh, this is a usb-c to usb-c cable and uh, it's got the readout on it. So what I do is plug the USB-C from the power adapter into here. Let's just tuck that there for now. Uh, and then when I plug this into here, we'll see what happens. We'll see what sort of readout we get. Oh, it is working in the normal way. I wonder if we're gonna get that error. Okay, so that's booting up normally. So that's really good because that means that I can still carry on using this adapter I wonder what it will do at the higher wattages. Well, we'll find out. It's a fairly thick cable. So I'm gonna to have to set this up now uh, because I've got to this stage, but I won't bother doing any of the updates. I've been doing some testing with my KDE build to try and get it to do USB boot, which I haven't managed to do yet when copying from an SD card, but I'm gonna try a few other things. So let's skip the network. Uh, Firefox as the browser, as that's supposed to get better support in the future. And I'm going to skip the updates for now because I really want to show how to use a, uh, an older adapter and still get it to boot from USB. So let's restart that. So it's booted up fine with the new 27 watt power supply. Um, but uh, if you don't have a 27 watt power supply or you have one that is 5 volt 5 amp but it's not detected, how do you get past that boot? So I'm gonna shut this down because uh, we're gonna pretend that we don't have the 27 watt power supply. So that's powered off now. I can unplug the new power adapter, go back to the Pi 4 adapter, and plug that in. And I'm also gonna plug in an SD card. Uh, because I want to boot from SD card so I don't get that error. But I'm going to leave this USB drive plugged in. So let's switch that on. And you can see that it boots fine. And this is the Raspberry Pi OS build running on this SD card, which is the one I use for my PlayStation 2 video. Uh, and you can see here, this is the USB drive that's been plugged in. So this already has Raspberry Pi OS on it. Uh, but it won't boot on anything but the official power adapter or something that gives it sufficient power. So let's go into the boot partition and look for config.txt. And then we need to make some changes in here. So let's just clear some space and type in USB underscore max underscore current underscore enable equals one. And then we just hit file and save. And now I can shut this down, the operating system running from the SD card. I can now switch off, remove the SD card. So this is now gonna boot from this 240 gig SSD drive. So let's switch that on again with the Pi 4 adapter. 
and you can see it's starting to boot and we didn't get that same message and there you go raspberry pi os running from an ssd with the non pi 5 power adapter so i guess i'm saying do this at your own risk but uh, it has been absolutely fine for me for a couple of months i have been careful not to plug loads of things into my pi 5 because obviously the more things you plug in the more power it's going to take from it and uh, i have used a usb hub on a lot of occasions when i've plugged a silly amount of drives i've probably had about three or four drives plugged in at the same time mechanical drives all sorts of things and it's been absolutely fine because obviously the usb hub is separately powered but if you are trying to take loads and loads of power from a pi 5 you really ought to get the official power adapter but if you haven't got the official power adapter and you want to play around with your pi and you want to boot from usb and an ssd just because it's faster then this is the method to do it anyway i hope all this helps thanks very much for watching please like and subscribe